the hadith regarding the prayer being valid if we prayed at least one rak'ah before the time of the prayer finishes? Does a rak'ah end when we rise up from the second prostration or when we stand up from the prostration? The hadith, whoever attains one rak'ah before the sun sets, he has attained asr. And whoever attains one rak'ah before the sun rises, he has attained fajr. This is in regards to completing one full rak'ah with two sujood. Unlike the other hadith, whoever attains one rak'ah, he has attained the salat, which is referring to being with the imam in the bowing or rukur position. This is different. So if the imam is in the ruku' position, I say, Allahu Akbar, and I join the imam, and we're both in the ruku' position, this is a valid salat and a valid rak'ah. But in the case of the sun setting, and I wake up late, and I make wudu, and I go ahead and offer asr prayer, I have to finish one rak'ah. And the rak'ah is concluded by accomplishing the second sujood and rising up, not by only offering the rukur like with the imam. And this is a big difference because here we are attaining the time, while in the other hadith, we are attaining the congregation. So here you have to, because there is another narration by Abu Huraira and, and, and uh, Mother Aisha and others, that whoever attains a sajda, which refers to a full-fledged raka'ah and Allah Azza wa Jal